Last year's winner, Art Power, the grey, got away to a very smart start with Swing Along for Company through the early stages. Buccanero Fuerte in the purple jacket towards the right is also prominent, so too on the extreme right, Flora of Bermuda from Bovatier, Kinross getting cover towards the right just behind Kind of Blue with Vafortino and Vadrim. Uh, towards the left audience leads the way to elite status should have been a ring ridden along and then Anaf going quite well, chasing the leaders down the centre are uh, also unequal love and uh, further back in the field, Shartash and then towards the rear of the field, Vafortino Kinross with a lot to do at the moment Bovatia just ahead of him, James's delight is the back marker and Montasib towards the back as well as they race on towards the final two and a bit furlongs and it's audience on the far side, challenged now by the nose banded Anaf, then Mill Stream, followed by Should Have Been a Ring, down the centre, swing along from Kind of Blue, then Spy Catcher, Flora of Bermuda, as they race on towards the final furlong, and it's Kind of Blue on the near side of Swing Along, Flora of Bermuda, Bovate is sticking on well as well inside the final furlong, Kind of Blue the leader, Bovate trying to come between him and Swing Along, and on the near side, Flora of Bermuda, and up to the line, Kind of Blue from Swing Along, Kind of Blue, Kind of Blue has won it from Swing along. Flora Bermuda on the near side of Bovatier, then Montasib. Further back is Spycatcher and Kinross making late progress. What a race this has been for one equine dynasty. His dam a half-sister to two previous winners, the Tin Man and Deacon Blues, and Kaida Blue has upheld the family honour in style in the cars of Watnan Racing, who stepped in to buy this horse at the 11th hour. James Fanshaw has trained this horse as well as he did the others. And James Doyle is the man in the saddle today. Swing along, second again. Your heart bleeds for swing along. So close in so many top-level sprints. An excellent run in third place from Flora of Bermuda. And never nearer than at the finish. Bovatier, the French challenger, was fourth. And they were clear. Kind of blue wins the British champion sprint. Another for James Fanshaw. 17, 13, 20 and 19, the draw uh, of the first four home lucky so the higher drawn horses have ended up dominating the race but they all came across uh, away from the far side to, to race more towards this side the smaller group sticking right to that far side and the eventual winner and runner-up never too far away from the gallop in the end were they that they've, they've kind of tracked through uh, last year's winner art power show along is always there but the winner not too far off that Bavatier is the one that's made the ground from a little bit further back as he did in France over further last time yeah and just didn't quite go on with the effort the eventual fourth is just to the inside of the eventual third Flora of Bermuda who is in the, the, the sort of mauve colours and the eventual fourth Bavatier in the maroon colours with the grey striped cap over on the far side Anaf giving it a good go he's coming back into form swing along I mean just run another massive race yeah a huge race again that that group one record is really really good but also probably frustrating for her connections but she definitely looks like she can go on and and win one Montesib going on late does he quite grab fifth at the line I think he does um, but he just got caught a little bit too far back as the race went he had a, a lot of ground to make up and he couldn't quite get there one minute 17 point two two is the winning time and that is the Swift. slowest time since gordon lord byron in 2014 117 30 so the last year hmm? last year was 116 116.92 last year so a fair bit slower than last year mm. 117.22 second slowest time since this race has been run uh, on this straight course at Ascot on british champions day yeah so it's hard work um kind of blue bread to enjoy those conditions and always traveling really quite takingly the first and second really did catch the eye with with how they traveled didn't they uh, they, they both traveled up beautifully audience it, it it makes sense to to run him over six furlongs given the way he's been running over seven but as you said he he just can't quite establish the same rhythm and dominate sprinters like he can horses over no. further. King Ross is another one that makes ground from a good way back. You can just see him on this side of the shot. Um, can't quite get into the race, but it probably hasn't quite gone his way. The pace has just held up a little bit too well. Bavatier is definitely the one that you'd be marking up given I, where he came from. I, I wonder, and I really fancied Bavatier today, and I know Nev did as well, uh, and Lydia as well. I just wonder if he's the sort of horse who's a bit of a, a, bit of a sucker punch horse. Draws you in every time.